Okay, so this is homework number 19, and every single one of these problems, they want you to solve for x. So when you have a triangle, the three angles of every single triangle always add up to 180 degrees. And remember, the box is always considered 90 degrees. I'll solve it at the end. In the second one, the three angles of any triangle always add up to 180 degrees. That will never change. So when you go through all the triangles, all you have to do is add the three angles together and set it equal to 180 degrees. So I'm gonna go through all the triangles, add the three angles together and set it equal to 180. So I'm gonna go through the whole thing as far as I can go. Maybe I'll stop on number 12 and then finish those answers first. So when I add the three angles of any triangle, I always get 180. Remember the box is 90 degrees, so 30 plus 90 plus X more has to equal 180. Here, be careful. It is 70, it is 90, but the third angle is written as x plus 32. You're still gonna set all three angles, the sum of them, equal to 180. So in the next one, remember this is 90 degrees. So it's 4x plus 70 plus the 90, and that has to total out to a full 180 degrees because they're the angles of a triangle. When it comes to number nine, remember this is 90. So it's X plus 25 for the first angle. 70 is the second angle. 90 is the third angle. You add them all up, you set it equal to 180. Remember this is 90. So what do I have? I have four X plus three for the first one, 55 for the second one, and the box means that the third one is 90. When I get to number 11, it is 56 plus X, plus the 52 on top, plus the 78 on the lower right, and that gives me 180 total. So, so far we can solve for X on every single one of them. For your number 12, the three angles, when you add them up, when you total them up, you always add them up and set it equal to 180. So for the questions that are on the board, hopefully this marker writes okay. I do know that 30 plus 90 is 120. And you should be able to say to yourself, 120 plus 60 gives you 180. So X equals 60. When it becomes more difficult, I will show the subtraction. So in the next one, you should be able to add these numbers with or without a calculator. 128 plus 21 is 149. Your job is to set it equal to 180. And then when you solve, you're actually gonna subtract 149 from each side. When you use your calculator, 180 minus 149 is 31. So that's your second one. Adding the two numbers, 25 and 130, gives me 155. And if you want to solve for X, you just have to subtract 155 from both sides of the equal sign. Now on a calculator, 180 minus 155 is 25. And that's what your value of X is. Picking up your calculator, 27 plus 127 is 154. So if you subtract 154 from both sides, kind of running out of room, but your calculator will give you 26 for an answer. All right, so these are just basic solving equations. 
from really middle school and algebra one. 40 and 80 add up to 120. Another problem that I probably don't need to use a calculator for because 60 plus 120 gives you the 180, so X must be 60. And the one in the middle, 30 plus 90 add up to 120. But there is a good chance that you may not need to use your calculator to solve for X because 120 plus 60 more gives you the 180. When it comes to the next one, adding all three sets of number, 70 plus 90 plus 32 on your calculator gives you 192. It just means that the X value is going to be negative, and that's okay. They want you just to solve for X. So when you subtract 192 from both sides, you're going to pick up your calculator, and you're going to type in 180 minus 192, and you're going to end up with X having to be a negative 12 to make this work. In the next one, when you add 70 and 90, you get 160. And the first thing that you would do to solve this equation is subtract 160 from both sides. But then that would give you 4x equals 20. And I think you all know that you're supposed to divide both sides by 4. And the number 5 is the value for x. When you come to number nine, you pick up a calculator and add 25 plus 70 plus 90, and when you hit equals, you get 185. But if you're gonna solve for X, you need to subtract 185 from both sides. When you do that, I don't wanna interfere with my picture. I'm gonna get an answer of X equals negative five because 180 minus 185 is negative five. Now remember, I don't wanna interfere with my pictures. So I have three plus 55 plus 90, those I can add. So it's four X plus 148 is equal to 180. But when you subtract 148 from each side, you're gonna end up with four X is equal to 32. Only to divide both sides by four and get x equals eight. Okay, two more problems and then this set will be done. I'll probably end it and then do the last four problems because I don't have a lot of room. I'm gonna have to erase. So 56 plus 52 plus 78 on a calculator um, is 186. So it's X plus 186 is equal to 180. And it's totally interfering with my picture below. But if you subtract 186 from both sides, you're gonna get an answer of X equals negative six. And then finally for the last one, if you add 47, 54, and 85 together, 139, 140, 187, 186, sorry x plus 186 equals 180. And once again, just like before, you have to subtract the 186 from both sides and you're gonna get x equals negative six. All right, so that takes care of most of the work. Now, the last and final thing is the bottom four problems. And in the bottom four problems, Basically, you're doing the same thing, except you're doing it twice for each of them. So in the triangle that's over here, you have two angles. One of them is 90 and one of them is 20. When you add 90 plus 20 together, you get 110. You actually need 70 more degrees in the triangle to add it up to 180. But on the other side, when you look at this, these three angles make a full half of a circle. So if you add 70 and 55 together, you're gonna get 125. 
you might have to do some calculations. So 180 minus 155 on your calculator gives you 25 for an answer. That's the number of degrees in here. But remember, you have another triangle on the other side that has three angles. The two angles that you know in that triangle, 25 and 30, add up to 55. But I'm going to look for the third angle, so it's 180 minus the 55, and when you subtract, you get 125. This is the answer for x. Okay, for the next one, number 14. I have a triangle on the left-hand side that already has two angles. If I add these two angles together, I have 84 plus 43. On my calculator, that gives me 127. At this point, you have to do 180 minus 127 on your calculator to get the answer of 53. But that 53 is the third angle of the triangle. Hopefully, you see a bow tie right there. So this is 53, then this is 53. And then you proceed with the triangle over here. You have two angles in the triangle. I think that says a 97. So you take 53 and add 97 to it. When you do that, you get 150. But that just means that you're missing 30 degrees and that's the value of x. Okay, next picture. Triangle on the left hand side, you have two out of the three angles. So if you add 53 and 42, you end up with 95. But 180 minus 95 on your calculator gives you 85. And that has to be the angle that's missing inside the triangle. Now you're not done, but in the center, you're supposed to see a half a circle, which always adds up to 180. So when you do 85 plus 69, you're going to get an answer of 154. But they have to total up to 180. So when you do 180 minus 154, that subtracts to 26, and that's the missing angle that belongs in the triangle on the right. Now, when you look at the triangle on the right, the three angles add up to 180. So the two angles that I know are 85 and 26. When I add them up, it's 111. You have to figure out how many more degrees do you need in that triangle to get up to 180. So 180 minus 111 gives me 69 degrees. And that's the answer to the missing angle. Okay, our last picture, number 16. I know it's all crammed in, but pretty much everything works the same way. The three angles of a triangle always add up to 180. You may actually know that 55 and 35 add up to 90, which forces you to have a 90 degree angle over there. And if this is a 90 degree angle, it's part of the bow tie. So therefore this has to be a 90 degree angle also. In the triangle down below at the bottom, you have two angles. When you add the two angles, 90 plus 58, you're gonna get 148. But your job is to figure out how many more degrees you need to get up to 180. So you do your 180 minus your 148, and you end up with an answer of 32. So this answer over here, you need an extra 32 degrees to complete the triangle.